Welcome to a noob's guide to Oxyodl. This is Ox... Hold on, he's here somewhere. The, the secret's to unfocus your eyes like one of those old magic eye paintings, and there he is, there he is! This is Oxyodl, the last of the old-school chameleon skinks. Oxyodl is a cold-blooded killer in the deadliest shot in Warhammer. A legendary lord in the Silence and the Fury DLC for Total War Warhammer, Oxyodl brings new units and a hit-and-run playstyle to the Lizardmen faction, alongside his license to kill, drink, and make lots of skink babies. The epitome of silent but deadly, he's an assassin second to none. He's the skink with the golden blowgun. <laughs> Oxyodl's service record is classified to all but the most senior slan generals, who dare not read it for fear of going mad from its sheer awesomeness. Commander Oxy Oxyodl had a distinguished service record in the 32nd Jaeger Light Infantry when he was recruited into their Old Majesty's Secret Intelligence Service at the Temple City of Pehuax, a site made by the Old Ones for training in covert warfare. Here and only here were the dreaded Chameleon Commando skinks spawned. After training in sabotage and clandestine operations, Oxy proved unusually effective against Agents of Chaos, earning him the nickname Kato Okotisha Nevitiem, he that hunts unseen. Officially, Pehoax fell when the officer in charge, Mage Priest 3rd Class Lord Pocaxon, fumbled a Nova Blast with his giant butterfingers during a siege. The entirety of SI-6 was lost in the explosion. Earlier reports, though, tell a different story. The Old Ones, in their infinite wisdom, sacrificed the city by shifting it to an alternate plane of reality. That's right, the space lizard creator gods called a broken arrow and nuked their own people into the Chaos Realms. Those that survived woke up in a hellscape of fire, furbies, and monsters who hunted them for sport. Any captured alive were tortured, mutated, experimented upon, or given a rag to mop up orgy juices with. Everyone except Oxyodl, that is. He escaped initial detection by hiding amongst the sprawling entrails of Sland Ward Pocaxlund, who was gifted by the Old Ones with a girth so copious Oxy was able to carve him out like a tauntaun to craft a bedroom, wash closet, and parlor to hide in. For sustenance, Oxy was forced to eat whatever horrific foods could be found in the Chaos Realms, largely Crystal Pepsi, Dilburritos, and Purple Ketchup. Oxy soon found, though, that not only was he able to survive in the Realms of Chaos, but downright thrive there, using his innate ability to stand very, very still and color match his background to literally disappear. It was super effective. Now able to blend into any scene like Gary Oldman, the demons who thought they had him trapped there soon found they were stuck in the Chaos Realms with him, as he began ambushing lesser eldritch horrors to cover his scent by bathing in their blood. In game, you can do this by toggling on the Master Predator ability. This gives him additional range, snipe, and unstoppable at the cost of movement speed, because who needs to move when you're dug in like an Alabama tick? Oxy became so adept at hunting demons, he even developed special darts for the occasion, grinding Tzinchian crystals to make magical darts for large enemies and harvesting flowers from Nurgle's gardens for a poison that drains enemy hit points. After years of stalking the land like Rambo, a Chaos God accidentally left the back door open so Oxy could pass back into the mortal realms. He returned to find Lizardmen society had all but collapsed in his absence. Demons were again ravaging the world, humans spread like rats, and actual rats were now concerningly human. His own people looked on Oxy's return as a portent of doom, and as the first chameleon skink they had seen in millennia, they kind of had a point. It was a bit like a Neanderthal walking into a pub to order a pint or stumbling onto Encino Man on television, a real relic from a bygone era. Turns out the Chaos Realms were a bit wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey, and 7,000 years had passed while Oxy was away. None of that time, though, has he ever spoken about to others. Rather than face the years of mental and physical torture he endured there, Oxy downed a couple of martinis and threw himself back into his work. Double-O status renewed, he thwarted an assassination attempt on Lord Mazamundi by Clan Eshin, and killed a greater demon of Zinch on his first week back. As a thank you, Oxy was given the golden blowpipe of Patui. Really? Seriously? Patooey? Yet another zinger brought to you by the nation that gave us Bodie McBoatface. But at least this joke gives Oxy longer range, faster reloads, and a magic missile to 360 no scope with. It's all in the eyes. Those crazy Steve Buscemi eyes that pop out of his head and spot the foul taint of chaos from a thousand miles away like something straight out of Metal Gear Solid 3.
In-game, Oxy's knack for finding prey takes the form of visions of the Old Ones, bespoke quests that have Oxy freely teleporting around the map to quickscope chaos. With a single click, he can traverse continents faster than Game of Thrones characters, dropping in to commit regicide, genocide, herbicide, or just put a blowpipe up at the Lord's backside to shake and stir, then teleport back to his home base for a quick shag in the north of Nagarond, where Oxy begins both of his campaigns. If you fail missions, chaos corruption rises, but successful ones give you coins and gems that are used to unlock super-secret silent sanctums, basically spy sleeper cells. You start with a silent skinkdom, skanktum, sanctum, in your capital city, and you can make a new one every eight gems, or roughly every time you finish a quest. Click on its icon at top, and then click on any region you've discovered, friend or foe, and so long as you can see it, you can sneak your snacks in and make a snack base. These silent sanctums buff a wide range of abilities, from increased range for missile units or melee strength to visibility over neighboring regions, even reduced recruitment costs, cheaper upkeep, and better vigor and replenishment. But no man is an island, no matter how badass its islanders may be. I'm looking at you, Samoa. To win the War on Chaos, Oxy would need backup. No chameleon skinks had spawned since the fall of Pahoax. In fact, Oxy was the last of his kind. Yet now, temple cities across Lustria were seeing them born. The Slan saw this as a gift from the Old Ones, while skink leaders noted they seemed to appear nine months after Oxy visited a city and all the local skink clubs. But besides a curious rise in local STD rates, Oxy's DLC brings chameleon stalkers. They may look like scaly Coco Pele, but really they're stealth shock infantry who shoot explosive darts from Q-Branch before charging in like Roman legionaries. Oxy's entire battle gameplay is based on these chameleon stalkers and their slinky brethren, allowing lizardmen to field a true hit-and-run skink army for the first time, raining poison darts before they disappear back into the jungle, as it cost Oxy almost nothing to set up an ambush, and with skills that reduce its detection, it's a matter of when you'll pounce upon your enemies with Vuvuzelas of Death. Oxy can also train chameleon stalkers to get snipe and unspottable, as well as give stalk, vanguard deployment, and armor piercing to every skink in his army. Their forces all replenish in enemy territory, and they don't even get a diplomatic penalty if they trespass on foreign lands, making them the ultimate foreign commando army because nobody knew they were even there to begin with. They're even still viable in late game, as all skinks serving under Oxy get additional missile damage, melee attack, defense, and morale every time they level up. So the longer they serve, the better they'll become. In his travails through forgotten cities and dense, untrimmed skink bush, Oxy has even found new monsters for his roster in this DLC. Like the Coatl, a flying dragon bird that gets bombardment spells and chain lightning, yet still can't properly land to fight. Oxy keeps them around for Master of the Sacred Places, a spell that gives any nearby unit stalk. That's right, surprise carnosaurs for everyone! And troglodons, which are spinosaurs. If Spinosaurus was blind, could spit venom and wasn't aquatic. Scientists have recently found that Spinosaurus actually had a giant paddle-shaped tail for swimming, which also made me realize that if Lizardmen had a navy, it would be a bunch of skinks clinging to the back of a troglodon like young Earthers clinging to the idea that dinosaurs didn't have feathers. Skink oracles are the mad lad spinners who ride troglodons on land. They climb aboard these no-eyed snakes and do their best to hang on to 10,000 pounds of gyrating muscular meat tube while they blast spells from beast, life, fire, and heavens at anything on the battlefield. As they're skinks, they also get vanguard deployment, so this mobile poison artillery is ready to hock a toxic loogie from any angle at the start of a battle. It's no wonder Oxyotl's faction, the Ghosts of Pehoax, are the spooky story Chaos Gods tell their demon children when they're naughty, as the last thing many of them will ever see when they warp into reality is Oxy just standing there, menacingly because it's only a matter of time before he starts working that pole harder than Little Nas X. So become the Karma Chameleon, and have Oxy join the roster of history's greatest color-changing reptiles. Rango from Rango, Pascal from Tangled, and, um, <clears throat> these jokes work better in threes? On Wikipedia, I don't know. Uh, and Dave, the Labor Party mascot? What the hell? And that's A Noob's Guide to Oxyotl, available as part of the Silence and the Fury DLC for Total War Warhammer 2. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to be notified when the next Noob's Guide releases, or join the Patreon to vote on which one comes next. All of these lovely people did, and the channel couldn't exist without them. So thank you to them, and thank you to you for watching.